Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today I've got some new Axios dive watches for you. Today it's a new series, uh, the Ironclad series. If you subscribe to my newsletter, you already would have known that I have these because the newsletter came out for these eh, last week or so. And I guess I don't say it too much, but subscribe, like the video, uh, so you get notifications. Remember, we're doing all those giveaways. Um, no end in sight at this point. So if you want to be on a giveaway, subscribe because there's only a limited amount of time to enter. Anyway, a uh, little commercial. I guess we'll do my wrist check first. Uh, wave dial. Islander. And, um, oh, feeling a little nostalgic. My pre-ceramic sub. 2006. Uh, so like I said, so the Ironclad series, um, kind of the second release um, after the flagship series that I already have in stock. Uh, these are all Swiss movement divers. Really cool. There's a meteorite. There's a pearl. Uh, sapphire glass. Ceramic inserts. Great loom. Everything you want. Um, and 40 millimeter size. So let's head on over and check them out. So we're getting into the Axios Ironclad series. Each model has its own name. I didn't write down the names. Don't worry about it. Uh, I just number them one through five, basically. The three of them are the same price, and two of them are a bit more. Uh, let me get my bearing show, the black pearl one. And the meteorite are a little bit more. These are $5.99, these three here, blue, uh, loom, or white, and black, and a gilt dial. And then the meteorite and the black pearl are $6.99. So other than that, though, they are really the same, all the, all the same cases and stuff, and just the executions differ. So I'll do one in detail, as usual, and I'll show you the rest Ooh, in a little bit of a quicker fashion. So we are looking at a 40 millimeter diameter case, okay, with 13 thick to a double dome, sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the inside. 46 millimeters on this lug tip to lug tip. Solid screw down case back with the image of an ironclad ship on it with some writing around it. You can see we have a serial number, ironclad, uh, SW200, which is the movement. And let's see, now comes the reign of iron, which I guess is the kind of like the motto of the ironclad ships uh let's see 500 meters of water resistance screw down crown okay as i mentioned it is a salita sw 200 movement 200-1 which is a 26 joule hand winding hacking swiss movement the salita basically came about when edis said they were going to stop distribution of movements outside the swatch group you know they said that like 18 years ago they've changed their mind like three times since then Pull out the crown to change the time. The second hand does indeed stop. And you are also looking at a date window at the 6 o'clock, which you change with one click out. Push down and turn for your full 500 meters of water resistance. 20 millimeter lug. It comes on a really nice bracelet. Excuse me. <clears throat> a solid link. Solid end link. Held together, of course. Let me get the screw heads. With screws. Okay, and a really, really nice, fully machined, was it six position? Three, yeah, six position clasp, double push button. See there, and there, very nicely done. It is also uh, logoed with the Axios logo. So this guy we're looking at is a glossy black dial, gold markers and indices, excuse me, gold hands, uh, C3 loom, X1 grade. We'll look at the loom when we're uh, when we turn out the lights in a bit. Um, silver applied Axios logo. Bezel is 120 click unidirectional ceramic bezel, illuminated as well. Like I said, this is 5.99. They do all all of them that you see come with the same extra strap. I call I'll call it a mock tropic strap with whoops with a pin that drops out uh, with the uh, logoed buckle. So I'll go over the three um, that are $5.99 first. So this is um, another entry. This is the blue dial. Um, it does, I guess I didn't mention on the black one, the date wheel was black. On this one, the date wheel is black as well with white writing. Uh, automatic, no, not running though, because it's been sitting here. Uh, automatic 500 meters of water resistance. So this guy's got silver 
markers, a silver hour hand, and a nice, like a classic orange diver hand, because uh, minutes are the most important thing. Uh, I love the way the loom is applied on these hands. Really well done. The bezel has uh, 0 to 15 done in orange, not illuminated, and then illuminated the rest of the way. They're a nice ceramic uh, bezel inlay. Zoom out just a bit. This is your blue dial. And then uh, the other one in the same realm of price is, uh, I believe they call it Snow. I think this one's Horizon. Again, my name, my numbers are, my names might be a little off. This guy is called Snow. So here we have uh, a very nice, uh, not pure white. My glove is white. And this backdrop is white. It's a little bit off white. I don't want to call it cream, though. Uh, it is fully loomed. And then we have black markers, black hands. Okay, well, silver hands with black loom in them, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's they're, they glow just a little bit against the beautiful full loom dial. So we'll check that out again when the lights go out. Ditto uh, for the fully loomed uh, ceramic bezel. Again, $5.99. Twisty turny. Get a look at it. So now let's step up. I'm going to save the best for last, in my opinion. So the black pearl. Do you see that when the light hits it? So it's a pearl dial. It's a black pearl dial. Really well done. Uh, being pearl, obviously, they're all a little bit different. Uh, but when the light hits it, you see greens, purples, all different hues of color. Silver hands, silver applied markers, black date wheel. Uh, so, you know, this is all different. Everything else is the same. Like I said, this guy is a little bit more $6.99. Still runs on the Salida SW200 movement. But I think this one's the nicest. Of course, I reset the hands and then I had to take a few minutes off and then they moved again. So this is the Meteorite dial. And this is like the other Meteorite watches I sell, either you know from Formex or from Phoebus. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the Meteorite. It's a Scandinavian Meteorite from like a million years ago or something. I, and it's done in blue. Look at that when the light catches it. Catches it. Do you see that? Look how beautiful that is. So it's real Meteorite. Check that out. Never mind the lights from the studio going across. Look at the way the dial lights up. It kind of makes it a little bit tough to read the print. But, oh man, beautiful, beautiful blue. Blue ceramic bezel inlay. Love the Meteorite one. Literally wearing a space rock on your wrist. I'll try it on. So here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. The uh, 46 millimeter on the look tip. The look tip is fine for me above or below the bone. Does not matter on the tip. Here we go. Let's try and get my wrist, not crack it in half. Everything that's fine. It's beautiful. Nice size. 40 millimeter. Perfect. Perfect. Think about what you're getting here. Meteorite dial, Swiss movement, 40 millimeter case. Uh, did I say meteorite dial? I'm going to say it twice because it beautiful really beautiful oh let's look at how much room there is on the bracelet plenty of room and like six positions of micro adjust so you're sure to find uh the fit that you want so the four non-loom dials first i mean they're, i want to show you they're all the same pretty much uh except for the one with the uh the blue dial with the orange markers on the bezel they don't light up as i said from zero to 15 but let's just get these out of the way so we don't lose our focus very easy to read to tell the time it lights up beautifully the bezel the hands so look how the hands look at the loom on the hands that's really really nice beautiful and now i'm going to show you the snow that kind of white dial one beautiful you can see when i hit it with the uv light <laughs> it left the the shadow of the second hand over here that's what this black shadowing is uh but the markers definitely glow as do the hands um i i guess they're in c th i think they're in c3 or they might be you know no i think they're in a lighter BW9 kind of thing, but it's black in the daylight, so it doesn't glow as much. Nonetheless, green on the bezel, blue on the dial, and easy to read, yeah, but just super, super cool looking. Looks really awesome. I guess if I had to pick my two favorites, it would be uh, Snow and the Meteorite, uh, but that'll do it. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the new Axios Ironclad series. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Uh, questions or comments, concerns, if you have any, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.